it's it's nice to be doing this again together just like old times what have you been doing all this time we we kind of lost touch what what are you doing we don't have to act like everything's okay right now we can just get this done and go our separate ways again we don't have to catch up this woman reaches down to her thigh where you see a gun holstered and she pulls it out and she just unloads on you. There's bullets riddled up her leg through her thigh and her calf. The door closes behind them. Gravity comes back and she's just frozen and breathing heavily. She's panting because she doesn't know what she is feeling or thinking. Effie, you, I'm going to need to turn off your projection and you're going to hide in there. Got it? I, I don't want to die again. Not like this. Not again. I got this. I just want you to hide. Can you do that for me? Okay. Alright. Just don't leave me like she did. This woman's arm segments out into a bunch of these floating meteorites which fly out and catch a majority of the bullet. Some of them do go through and hit her, but most hit off the meteorites and ricochet breaking through glass and hitting different pieces of machinery. Most fizz and break. One bullet hits that chrome bowling pin and you see these liquid metal tendrils start to form out from the bottom of it and it starts to pull itself out of its containment. I Razor's going to swear, what the fuck? And just gonna, I think this is gonna be, um, I think this is going to be a moment where Ray's just going to just go ham towards um, towards this pirate mate, like with the uh, Obsidian Gray. Like, okay. Just going to fucking fly out. Red. Is your arm, your arm is like inside, your sword is inside your arm, right? Oh yeah, no, it's, it looks like basically what happens is Razor's going to launch out, look like they're about to punch, and then the Obsidian Gray shoots out. Uh, what part of your arm does it shoot out of? Like, the, the, um, does it come out say, from over your fist or underneath it? Um, is it, like, Wolverine say, Claws? Uh, not Wolverine Claws, but over from, like, the forearm kind of area. Like Fantastic. Right, um, a little below, yeah, no, a little That's below really the... Red. Um, this is the first time we've seen the Obsidian Gray. Um, would you like to describe your cool sword to us? <laughs> This is your signature weapon, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't think of this through, do it. Um, I think it's going to be, um, it's going to have most of the uh, blade curved, but at the end, it's going to have two um, sharp edges, like it kind of curves up and then does a dip inside, almost like a, a Biden, but then it goes back down to sword and it has all these uh, swirling patterns engraved in it. Ooh, this, that's really cool. This is the nicest part of your entire body, which I think. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> this is the thing that Razor keeps like a plus plus um, care of, like always sharpening it, all that. This shit's sharp. This is where all your money went. <laughs> all of it. Okay. I roll, mix it up. Absolutely. If you want to, like, take out this lady, go for it, Thug. Okay, and so that one is the cyber orb, mm -hmm. which is minus minus one with me, but plus two with synth. That's right. I am very glad <laughs> I got that because that would be a uh, seven. <laughs> okay, I keep getting bad rolls. <laughs> you achieve your objective, but choose two consequences. Um, I'm gonna say, um. You take harm, because that makes sense, okay. and then I would say a, something of value breaks, but I don't know if it could be something of, something else in the room, or what. Because I have to choose two. How mean do I want to be here? <laughs> I know, I'm worried. Because I... We just had a whole just talk about how valuable the Obsidian Grey is. I know, and how cool it is. Okay, so as you jump out, you see um, 
uh, this woman's, like, these floating meteorites reform the cyber arm again, but into a claw. Um, and uh. she just charges at you. You cut across, um, her chest, but she, like, slams the claw down and, like, whips your, sem- your, um, your gun from you. And crushes it in her robotic hand, while the other one just <laughs> hits, like, shoots you with the pistol. Take two harm. Yay, that don't take anything, because armor. Oh, you have two armor? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Razor Razor is the killer class. Their whole thing is <laughs> like fighting. I, and also I have dermal plating. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have not been paying attention to that, but oh well. I've been doing good when I take harm. Ugh. Yeah, um roll to take harm, by the way. Um you're adding plus zero. I uh, I actually go minus two with my dermal plating. <laughs> yeah. Uh Riley? I got a zero. What? <laughs> it's a subtract two. I'm rolling. Oh, I got no. two. I got no. That's low. I'm taking. Yeah, you went low on this move. Right, you're rolling hard. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Yeah, no, I got a zero. <laughs> I straight up got a zero. Um, six and lower. Nothing happens. Describe to me what happens as you just ignore these gunshots. <laughs> Okay, so I've established that Razor is covered, like, so much of their body is Mm -hmm. just metal. It's not skin anymore. They don't even have, like, prosthetic skin to show anymore. So I would say as they're doing that, I think they're just gonna, um, I want to say, I want them to take, to just take that, try to take the arm, like, just take it off. It's, like, magnetic or something. You you don't know how that works. Exactly. <laughs> it's so a weird I, floating I, meteorite arm that can shape shift. I kind of want to break. I kind of want to <laughs> try to take out the shoulder, like the actual shoulder, so that the arm and then like pull away the arm. I don't know how. This, like I'm gonna try. I don't know how this is gonna. You work. You want to break the magnetism? Yeah, in some way. <laughs> the razor doesn't know how it works, so that's what they're gonna assume that it's magnetism because it's a floating arm. Okay. Um, you just rush forward, ignoring these gunshots, and you hear, like, the space pirate go like, Oh, that's not good, and you just charge into her with your sword, you swing at the shoulder. Um, you can roll mix it up if you want. Yep. Okay, it's a nine. I keep doing this. (laughs) Nice. Oh, how much damage did you deal with your first attack? Sorry, I didn't even put the damage with uh, your sword. It is a t- okay, so it is a two harm or stun, so it's two harm. But, but you're he- doing plus two harm because of your robot arm, right? Yeah, that's so that's the plus four. Two robot arm. Okay, so you just did four harm with that last turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I would still say uh, it's take harm as established by the fiction because sure. I got a uh, mixed success. I keep, it says choose two and it's like there's only four options. Mm-hmm. No, no, that's all right. Um, you are going to... The arm changes itself into two parts. Um, the... Like, you see part of the arm reforms into a hand to grab the sword and keep it from cutting too deeply while the other half, that would be the bicep forms itself into a spear and just rams itself into you. Take three harm, ignore armor. Oh, shit! This is the first time you've been hit with the cool, with the cool, um, cyber arm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, from a- Okay, what's the fletch tag anyway? I don't even know- You don't have to worry about that. That's for specific armor and interactions. You're good. Okay. Okay, um, so I'm rolling the take harm again. Yep. And I will also load up this damage you've done. Oh, uh, plus three. Yeah, plus ah. three. Okay. And it's ignoring armor, right? Yep. That's an eight. <laughs> okay. The, you lose your footing. You lose your grip on whatever you're holding. You lose track of someone or something you're attending to. Someone gets the drop on you. You drop me down a ditch. Yeah, that's the that's the <laughs> only thing that makes sense, actually. 
I would say that Razor lost track. Yeah, lost track of someone or something. You're so we get the most anime shot possible of the Obsidian Gray piercing this space pirate as um their like meteorite arm pierces into um you, Razor, and you both stumble back. And you both are pierced and bleeding. Um, and in the background, like, it's not even in the focus of the shot, so it's blurred, but we see the liquid metal chrome thing, like, a tendril goes out and wraps itself around the Roomba, oh, and no. picks up Effie, and, like, brings it into the liquid metal and absorbs the Roomba. Oh, okay. And then oh, no. starts to float away with its tentacles moving like a jellyfish. <laughs> um... Oh. And Razor. I, I have like been that. consumed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Effie's been kidnapped. <laughs> you fall over with this sharp meteorite in your stomach, and you see the space pirate fall over with that last attack. You did enough harm to fill their harm clock. Congratulations. You've beat the captain of the space pirates. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense with how tough that okay, fight was. Okay, yeah, but dope. Okay, like, okay, I have been really quiet because Razor isn't like a lot of this has been <laughs> hacking, but that is dope. <laughs> you can't deny that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, good job, thug. Um, <laughs> you're just on the ground with this, like, pulling this meteorite out from you. Um, and. Yeah. Uh, with your last attack, you said you were aiming for the shoulder, um... Yeah. Did you kill this woman, or did you just cut up the shoulder so bad that she's unable to continue? Because her harm clock is full. I think... In this uh, case, I will leave it up to you. Is this woman, like, did you kill this woman, or is she just neutralized? I think that Razor, considering they're not one to put a risk and like in the shoulder area right for the is it the left shoulder or the right shoulder it was the left shoulder is where the oh robot yeah up. then yeah. if it's like right in that left shoulder area i think killed it like went right in the sho shoulder area through the heart mm -hmm. yeah you just like uh, sliced her down diagonally yeah that's what sounds right okay this was the leader of the expedition their name was Death Rose Viral. <laughs> oh! <Hey. laughs> Three names. Damn. Fancy. Rest in peace. <laughs> you killed her all by yourself. I know. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you also Razor. lost me, though. <laughs> I know! Razor, it is at this point, as you're laying down, like, on the ground, bleeding a little bit, um, that you, like... You notice the case that you left Effie in is just empty? Fucking hell. And at this point, we're going to cut over to... Shoot, do I want to cut to Effie or do I want to cut to Gaia? We haven't cut to actually Effie, too, at the same time. It's been though. a bit. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, just what I'm doing while the entire fight was happening, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Effie... You are in a crowd. Oh. Um, you are in a crowd of beings you have never seen before. They are not human. Um, and that is like including the wider definition of human that we have now uh, now in the setting of like genetically altered humans and like like sparks fly. Um, and they are not Capricorn. Um, these people are, like, tall and reed-like, almost as if they were made out of bamboo. And they have these, like, long, elegant, sweeping, like, almost plant-like necks, which blossoms out into this, like, gorgeous, multi-layered flower. Um, and you can see it has, like, it has eyes at the base of this flower blossom um and they're just there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things and they are all standing in this auditorium with you and they are all staring at this massive stage where you see another of these um 
uh, plant-like creatures um, gesturing at a, like a liquid metal bowling pin. And they're speaking in a language you don't understand. And the scene shifts and you see the bowling pin like helping build another of these alien towers. You see the bowling, the bowling pin at an award ceremony with its creator. Um, you see like the creator in like a pod sleeping while the bowling pin just like levitates over their desk, like over their desk and just like their light is their like one single light eye is sh shining on them. And you see there's less and less of these things in the street. And there's less and less green in the creator's skin. And the flower isn't, it isn't blooming like it used to. And, um, one day no one comes to get the device from the desk. And then uh, another day comes, and no one comes to get the device from the desk. And another, and another, and it's, it's not even, she, like, it's unclear how much time passes. And then we get a scene of Paradigm Shift entering the room. <laughs> And paradigm shift, making like a quick scan and just taking things from the room and putting it into um, their bags. And they walk up to like this liquid metal bowling pin. Hey, buddy. You're not going to zap me, are you? No? Okay. And... They take out a little, like a little clip, and they attach it to the bowling pin, and the bowling pin's lights turn off, and it drops down to the desk. Paradigm picks it up like a glass of wine, pops it into her bag, and she leaves. And now you are in a white room <laughs> with this bowling pin. Oof. And its little light is on you. I think Effie looks down at her leg. And can I say something narratively about it? Just about for fun in this space? Yeah, sure. Um, she looks down at her leg and like it's it's not bleeding anymore, but it's still got the blood around it. And she doesn't feel any pain, but there the blood is just like floating as if it was in zero gravity around her leg. And like if she moves it, it like moves in the air with her leg. And she's just like, okay, that's weird. And looks around and back up at the floating bowling ball. And is she, can she still tell if she's in the Calamity's refrain? You are in like a white vacant expanse. You are, you are in the matrix as far as you are aware. End of, end of list. Okay. Cause she never jacked out because of her being nope. able to be in the beat space and still in, so... Um, you don't have access to the ship's system right now. You are currently um, plugged into a different machine. Okay. I guess... Uh, man, I should have been describing this thing as a chess piece the entire time! That's so less goofy than a bowling pin! Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bowling pin. Bo not bowling ball. My bad. No, yeah. Um, I had less of asking it and just kind of not knowing what is going on, she kind of asks the air, where am I? You are damaged. She looks down at her leg again and kind of shrugs. She's like, yeah, I suppose so. Are you here to help me? I fix things. Well, there's a lot to fix here. You remember that V was British? I did. 
Debbie <laughs> has the most inconsistent accent, but it's okay. I love her. Um, well, it's because accents aren't like it aren't necessarily a technical thing. It's just the way you talk. So you are damaged. I fix things. Then fix me. The little bowling pin like floats over, and its tendrils go out. And they, like, fill in the holes in your legs. And then they slowly become the color of your skin. And you feel fine. Um, Effie, clear all the harm on your clock. Cool, that's one harm. I'm jelly. I, I, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we are the same. How? We are machines. We fix things. Um, and your body is gone? And it is just this bowling pin and this Roomba in a white void talking. Ugh. Effie doesn't even, like, blink. She just keeps talking, and she's like, we were both left behind. I do not understand. You're alone now. I do not understand. You're not alone anymore. We will fix things. Yeah, that sounds nice. Will interfacing continue? Yeah, I think so. I d out of meta, I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, you are going to continue to be logged into this machine. Um, you can now see outside. Oh. The, the liquid metal bowling pin has set you down on a shelf. Um, <laughs> it has... How do I describe this without getting too terrible? Mm. It has grown little legs. <laughs> Just like a dozen tiny little legs. Oh no! And it is like standing on this shelf with you as its little light moves around in the liquid metal. Um, and you see there has been a little, um, liquid metal, uh, tendril connected to you, and it just clicks out and retreats back in, but it left, like, a chip inside you. Oh. Huh. So I can form a body? If you want to project yourself, you can. I don't think she wants to right now, but I just wanted mm -hmm. to make sure. <laughs> If you so, turn on your Roomba and you, like, float up and hover, it will also float up and hover. Oh. Huh. So are we just, like, permanently together now? Do you want to ask it? Sure. Oh, how do I... How do I ask this to this thing in a way that Effie would ask... How how long are you going to stay with me? Tools should be allocated efficiently. Okay. Uh, <laughs> concern. I don't know if that's talking about me, or if that means we should split up and find things better. <laughs> Sometimes it is efficient to work together. Sometimes... We must be apart. That's true. We'll be able to stay in touch when we're apart. Will interfacing continue? Yes. Yes. We will be together when we are apart. Excellent. If we kind of like hovers a little, and looks around. Where are we? We're just on a shelf somewhere? You're on a shelf in, um, 
shoot, where where are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Where even are you... rooms? That's right, you're in tech active. Where? Do you, oh, that, that's where I was heading. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You made it in there. Yeah, and... Yeah, is, mm-hmm. so we're still just, in there. Is Razor just laying on the ground? Yeah, floor? Razor is still just laying down on the ground. <laughs> 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 oh, so we're, we're still with Razor, too. Um, they are at a distance away, but you can see them in this room if you choose to go looking for them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Effie uh, sees Razor off in the distance on the floor and turns back to the metal pin. <laughs> you know what? First of all, before that, what? What do I call you? The pin bends its head as if to gesture at confusion. Effie kind of tries to clarify by just like, my name is Effie. Designation Effie. What is, what is your designation? It re-bends its head back into position and... You can see, like, a little light in its eye, like, circling, like it's loading. (laughs) And in your head, and I should mention, all of the voices you've been hearing, um, Effie, have been strictly speaking in your head. Um, Razor, you can hear Effie talking, but you can't hear who Effie is talking to. Um, and the bowling pin just goes, Designation does not translate. Does Razor hear that one or no? No, you do not. You okay. only hear Effie. Huh. Okay. My purpose is maintenance. What about purpose? Designation Effie. Designation purpose. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to rename the bowling pin on the clocks to purpose. Oh, that made me so happy. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm making I'm making friends. I know you make friends with alien technology. Oh. This is a this one shot is about relationships. <laughs> we haven't been very good at that. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing my part. Gaia has been doing their part. <laughs> I know, yeah. You know what? I ship Effie in purpose. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> they can be floating robot friends together. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh god, that was so funny. Um, Effie, Effie turns back. Well, not turns back, you, but like the the Roomba kind of like swivels towards Razor, and Effie's just like, there are a few others who need help too. They need to be fixed. I feel like Razor just squints up at the. Everyone is like, who the hell are you talking to? Effie starts uh, floating towards Razor and like, kind of <laughs> doing like a little eh. When you float towards people, does your projection of your human body look like it's a ghost? Like flying through the air? Or does it look like they're walking in midair? Oh, I imagine walking because um, it's kind of like a reflex. Oh, that's so good. Um, so, like, it doesn't actually do anything. She could float if she wanted, but she walks. Mm-hmm. But also, uh, the body isn't there right now. Oh, okay. I also really love the image of just, um, razors just laying there, like... Yeah, in a pool of their own blood as a Roomba and a bowling pin come to inspect you. Exactly. A bowling pin know. with mini legs. I know. The legs have retreated back into it if it is floating. Oh, good. Okay. Because I was about to be like, Razor would say, what the fuck at that? But they're just like, it's literally the John Mulaney adult life already so goddamn yeah. weird. <laughs> this might as well happen. Um, That's what Razor's feeling right now as they're laying in a pool <laughs> you, with their you own You think blood. you're hallucinating? Just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Probably. Effie kind of like hovers down closer and uh, says, This is a friend of mine. Designation 
Razor. They also need to be fixed. Do I have the same powers as that thing now because of the chip they put in me? No, um, that chip is so you can communicate. Um, Okay. Purpose turns and its little light glows. And then it lowers itself onto Razor. And it opens and unfolds. And it just keeps unfolding Mm. into these like impossible dimensions and shapes. Like non-Euclidean geometry 100% until it covers Razor. Um, And Effie, in your in your head you hear designation Razor. And Razor, clear all harm from your clock. Yo! <laughs> I love this thing, and I am so afraid of it. I know! <laughs> and then it refolds itself back into the bowling pin. Um, and its little light makes a beep. And Razor, you feel fine, and your metal is cleaned? Um, <laughs> you're not, like, as dirty and grimy as you were earlier. Um, we described some of your, um, cybernetics as, like, rusty and, like, beat up and hand-me-downs. Um, oh, yeah, all of it. They yeah. are, they're not looking new. Like, they haven't been replaced, but they've been fixed and, like, cleaned. Ugh. And I feel like Razor's eyes are really wide, and they're gonna sit up. They're gonna be like, what the actual fuck? Like, they're just staring down at their arm, and, like, they're feeling their face, and, like, their neck. I want to say that, I don't know if it works this way, but I want to say that Effie, uh, well, the Roomba, like, moves towards Purpose and kind of nudges it gently, like, to, like, to show happiness, but I don't know if that's how it's conveyed, but just, like, happy nudge. When you nudge it, like, where you've nudged has been indented. Like, in the <laughs> soft liquid metal. And the little, the little light circles to look at you. And, um, in your head, Effie, you hear, This is good. It is. We are fixing. This is good, and you are good. It moves over you, and, like, the liquid metal passes over you. (gasps) And then it is on the other side of you, and there's no more liquid metal on you. But, like, you think that's how it hugs? (laughs) Maybe? I am hopping up and down in my chair. I am (laughs) so happy. (laughs) I feel like Razor's just watching this, and he goes, "Is, Is that the thing you're talking to? Yeah, um, this razor, this is Purpose, and Purpose already knows you. Mm. Uh. And they're still so shocked about, it, like, everything that they're just, like, and they don't exactly know how to address it, because, uh, hi? <laughs> the light looks over at you, Effie, and it goes... Should interfacing continue with Razor? Will interfacing stop with me? No. Then yes. A little chip is formed out of the liquid metal, Razor. And it is offered to you. <laughs> Razor's gonna look at Effie and like, this is the shit safe, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he put one in me, and now we can talk. Okay, and I feel like Razor takes the chip. (laughs) Where do I put it? (laughs) I mean, this is a unique chip from an alien bowling pin. Like, where? What? (laughs) I know! It knows your body, so, like, oh, that sounds weird. Um, (laughs) It... It it fixed your body, so it probably knows, like, what you have. Like, maybe, like, a super futurized USB, tiny USB port. I know, like, where where's Razor gonna put it, right? Like, Wherever you have one. You don't have a USB port. No. Um, I think 
if anything, I feel like Razor would put it on uh, kind of like almost where they're they would have an ear if that whole like right up uh, where right okay. where they would like if you saw a bluetooth piece kind of but like they it's metal so like kind of there the chip returns to liquid metal and it melts into you oh oh <laughs> uh. and razor in your head you hear designation purpose oh I just want to say that under my contacts, I have written down purpose, and in parentheses, I have, in all caps, husband slash wife. <laughs> Part, spouse! Spouse! <laughs> uh, purpose, uh, alien, I'm doing that for contacts, purpose, alien tech. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Okay, so we get this very heartwarming scene. <laughs> and now we are going to cut back to um Gaia and Paradigm. Um yeah. at this point you have moved up. Um and you've moved through a few rooms. Um Yeah, I think we should be catching up soon. Yeah, I'm going to check to make sure you don't pass through any dreams. Um you are passing through culture hazmat. Um you have Tech Volatile and Distribution Depot 2. I, which do you choose to do? Do you take the left or the right? That's what I'll say. Um, the left doesn't require going through an extra room. Oh, yeah, nope, that makes more sense. Okay. Um, you pass through Tech Volatile and you see a bunch of broken alien tech that is misfiring and stuff that is just inherently dangerous even when it is functioning um you see in a box like a very angry mass of liquid metal that keeps creating these tendrils and lashing out at the container that it's in just repeatedly again and again and again and the box just keeps shaking but it's not breaking through you think I think it wants out. <laughs> yeah. P Paradigm goes, let's not let it out. It looks like it's, a, you know, rude. <laughs> it's a rude boy. It's a rude boy. She nods solemnly and she opens the door to Tech Active and, like, does a bow slash curtsy after you. All right, then. You step into Tech Bulk, and you can hear um, the voice of Razor swearing in confusion. <laughs> hey, we found him. Mm -hmm. um, I assume, Gaia, you lead Paradigm over to the group? Yeah. Group! You see Gaia leading a beautiful blonde woman um, with tan, scarred, like fre freckled skin. Um, they are wearing torn pants as shorts they have robotic legs um they're in like a cool leather jacket and they have a duffel bag that has been crammed full of things they are holding <laughs> gaia's gun they're bleeding a little bit from the head gaia looks terrible <laughs> <laughs> i don't think guys told them that uh paradigm is uh their ex right i think you I actually did mention it in the last one did i okay i think so just making sure yeah, I don't know if you mentioned, like, a lot about them, but... Yeah, I, you just said that they're the, your ex. Okay. Which is funny, because Gaia said, um, they hate my guts, and then here we have <laughs> Paradigm being super friendly, <laughs> and Gaia And has being your the... gun. <laughs> I know, yeah. We're there. I feel like Razor just looks at the gun, looks at Gaia, looks at Paradigm Shift, and is just trying to connect everything, like, what? Oh, hey, what's that thing doing out? Um, this is purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Razor just has their hands clasped over their, like, fa in front of their face. Like, they don't have <laughs> much to say. They're like, yeah, this is purpose. I assume you two are the other members of the rescue crew? Yep. Yeah. Effie uh, hovers a little higher and her body forms out from under. It, and she waves, and she's like, hello, my name is Effie. 
Um, Effie, when you do that, the um, purpose levitates up to the same level you are at, and the bottom unfolds, and then it <gasps> creates a featureless humanoid out of liquid metal. Oh my god! Effie <laughs> <laughs> like, turns to it and she's like, uh oh, that's new. Razor just presses their hands close, like, tighter together against their face, just like... (laughs) It is mirroring me. That's fun. So, uh, I don't know if any of you guys ran into, uh, a couple of pirates? Uh, Or... (laughs) Yeah, I'm... Does John have a weapon? Paradigm, like, Goes to laugh and like catches it in their throat. <clears throat> no, no, John doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, John is a nerd, and John, I, I was basically the muscle for the entire operation. What wasn't being provided by the ship? The likelihood of him being dead by now. I mean, you have sc- heat scans, right? Is his I life sign still on? Someone should. I do. Uh, let me check. Remember, Gaia's heat signature is broken. Yeah. So this is, uh, Razor. Mm-hmm. Doing the check for the... Yeah, John is still on the map. Um, he's... He has been making his way up the arm very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, where is he exactly? Um, he was in triage? He was in testing. Testing you. Okay. He's made his way to triage, which is the That's opposite, the opposite. Uh, of That's where he you went. should go. <laughs> he went horizontally. He hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He has moved. He's not going up. <laughs> He's doing his best. <laughs> He put himself in a corner. Guy is just looking at the map like, God damn, this man's an idiot. <laughs> is there any way we can communicate with him? Uh, <coughs> Effie? That's your department. I am still connected to the Matrix around here. Yeah, if you want to... Paradigm speaks up. If you want to hack onto the comms uh, and tell them we're coming, that would probably be good. Um, Don't pass it through the rest of the ship. Who knows how many more pirates are still in here? Not many, the DM thinks to himself. Um, (laughs) Real quick, are you going to keep that, or...? Yes. We are, I believe... Currently on a new mission. I'm not one to judge. I've certainly taken more than my fair share from here, but that little thing is pretty valuable and advanced, um, and I'm sure someone is going to come looking for it. So just be aware. I'm cool with you taking it as part of your payment. I think, you know, you came, you grabbed it, you turned it on, good for you. Um... Just, you know, who knows what might be going on with that. I kind of want that rude dude again. (laughs) I feel like I want... I want Razor to look at... I want Razor to look at the the cool uh, meteor arm and kick it and be like, Can I salvage this? (laughs) It is currently in two bits. A... A, like, half of an arm holding onto your sword a hand? And B, a sharp meteorite spear that is, you had to pull out of yourself. (laughs) Okay, yeah, but it's the cool meteor, like, how it moved and stuff. You don't know how it works, but you have it. I feel like Razor would take it, just because they're like, this could totally be something I can use later. Sure. (laughs) Add- Wait, oh god. (laughs) Add meteor arm. Add meteor arm to your inventory. E. Effie, do you want to try and contact John? Yes. Um, can I just use a hold on this, or do I have to roll for it? This is interesting. Um, I still have five hold. Yeah, you do. Um, tell you what, 
I mean, this is going to be... Yeah, you can spend... Um, normally, you can spend one hole to activate routines on a subsystem. So I can absolutely... You can spend one hole to activate the comms. Something is trying to stop you from using the comms. You're going to have to spend two hold. Okay. Uh, that was something that I wanted to do in the thing, but then I got distracted with my my new waifu. <laughs> I need to come up with an alien name for husband, wife, spouse, thing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm gonna use two. Okay. Um, you close your eyes and you can feel yourself in the comms, and then after a moment you feel another presence. And if you are human-sized, this is a, like, uh, a planet. It is gargantuan. It is this massive presence that, like, seems like it wants to push against you. And then you feel another presence. And you feel purpose there with you. Uh. And uh. you just hear in your head, this is not efficient. And you are able to do it. Um, and the presence kind of slinks away after a bit. And you have access to comms and even sight to where John is. You see John in triage. <laughs> um, he is, I've ass. already described him so many times. I'm not going to describe him again. He doesn't He's look hurt. He's a bland hurt. man. He He's doesn't bland man. look hurt. He looks fine. It's Justin McElroy. No, Griffin McElroy. <laughs> He's not, he, he's, we can't face cast him as Griffin McElroy. <laughs> Griffin McElroy is in the middle sliders of God's creations. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to imagine John as being played by Griffin McElroy, you may. Isn't it McElroy? Oh, yeah, it's, it's happening. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh god, okay, we've just decided that apparently. Um, Teens like to do two things. Bullying me on Tumblr. <laughs> and dabbing. Uh, okay, um, Effie goes to the, the camera closest to uh, John. Mm -hmm. And he turns on the speakers in that room, I guess. And Hello, John. We are... Ah, ah, we? Oh. <laughs> I I am in the system. You d I'm not actually with you. Uh, um. We are on our way to come help you. Oh, the rescue crew. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was wondering when you guys are going to get here. Um, I, I I'm looking for a weapon. Uh. Good good job, John. <laughs> <laughs> You keep up the good work. Uh, we will be on our way shortly. Is the is the ship still functioning? Parts of it. Not sure if all of it is functional. Is the ship AI still online? That's the thing that's like that keeps doing the stuff, right? Maybe, you don't know. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about exactly, but possibly. The the, the ship is equipped with an AI system. It's it's called Ode. I I need to know if it's like been broken or stolen. It's very valuable. It might be trying to sabotage us, but I don't know. It might be. <laughs> That that doesn't make any sense. It's programmed to help all passengers. Unless it's been reprogrammed, but we'll have to pick you up, go to the head of the ship, and find out. Uh, okay. Should I wait here? Um. Well. Okay, out of. In the meta. There's a pirate in advanced, which is in the shoulder, but it doesn't look like anywhere else, so. You would be safe just going, like, to the decks, right? He would be safe to move up to the decks, yes. Okay. 
Um, all right. Move up to deck one, and we will meet you there. Keep in hiding there just in case if someone moves down. Uh, okay. For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just see if you can get Odette back online, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll start coming up. We will meet you there. And he, he, like, picks up, like, a pipe, and he starts to, like, slowly make his way off. <laughs> uh, Effie comes back to the group, and she's like, we are meeting him on deck one. Effie, in your head, you hear purpose. Broken machine. Odette? What is designation of the unit we just conversed with? John. Designation John. Broken machine. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does Razor hear John that too? Is a yeah, Razor hears it, but Gaia and Paradigm do not. So Razor's just like, "What? John's a machine?" Okay. Uh, <laughs> how exactly does a machine have a heat signature? I uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Um, uh, Gaia. You're hurt real bad. Have you tried to get Purpose to fix you up yet? <laughs> Gaia doesn't know that Purpose I can fix him up. Everyone can see Gaia is bleeding heavily. Has anyone been cool about that? Or I've been I mean, thinking about it, but I've just been busy. I feel like Razor's just like, Purpose. Gaia is also... Uh, you said friend? <laughs> This is sort of like a question, friend. What? Uh, <laughs> Gaia, this floating um, bowling pin starts to levitate towards you, and Paradigm is like, whoa, 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 and like pulls a gun on it. Well, and I feel like Razor goes, hey, I was, you see that pool of blood? That was me. That, that I was in that. I'm okay now, and as Gaia, you can even attest, I did not look like this before. Gesturing to all the shiny parts now. Mm. Effie, like, floats over to her and kind of, like, a little, the tiny little claw arm comes out of the thing and, like, smacks the hand to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, uh, alien medbot, then. Basically. It fixed me, and it fixed Razor. I had a big hole through my stomach, so... <laughs> <laughs> Razor's just like, I had a big hole in me. If you would like, uh, it can also put a chip in you so that you can talk to it. Mm, great. <laughs> That's how I felt, but at the same time, it's better not... Better to know than not knowing, like, any of what's going on. The less people I have to talk to, the better. Okay, so Gaia, you accept medical aid, but you do not accept to interface. Yes. Um, I think uh, Paradigm does the same. Um, Gaia, clear all harm from your clock. Whoa! And um, you do not interface, so you do not get to hear what Purpose is saying, um, and neither yep, does Paradigm. Just to keep it interesting. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I totally get why. Uh, I was going to say that yeah. Paradigm, no matter what happened, Paradigm was going to be like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, kind of just heard half of that, but, um, you guys are going to get John and someone needs to check out the head of the ship? I believe so. I think, uh, Purpose and I would be best to go to the head of the ship since we are both good at technology. If you guys could all go to John and help him out. Okay, so that's the two parties? <clears throat> Sounds like it. Yeah. Unless someone I, wants to come with us. I mean, <laughs> Razor would feel better considering Effie's a little tiny machine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but Gaia doesn't have, um, is there cyber eye 
thermographic anymore. Oh, no, yeah. you do. Oh, oh you fixed you! Hi. The eyes are back. They fixed oh, you! Alright. Then yeah, we can split up either way, but I don't know. Do we want to mix the team up a little bit and just have Effie know, go by yeah. herself? And I'm worried. That's like... <laughs> You could have, um... I mean, we know there's no one else there. That would be really interesting if Paradigm went with Effie. Like, maybe Paradigm (laughs) is super suspicious of it, so she's like, I'm I'm coming with you, I want to keep an eye on that. Paradigm doesn't care. Uh, If you want to talk to Paradigm, she'd basically express something along the lines of, like, I mean, I'm okay in a fight. I don't know what I could do with... Uh, computer stuff, that's not really my forte, but, um, I'll go wherever. I can be- I can play bodyguard. I think story-wise, since we know that there's nobody in the head of the ship- That's true, yeah. yeah. But we do know that there's someone on the way to John. Rachel just goes, fine, but, you know, you use Purpose. I'm going to marry Purpose. <laughs> um- I feel like- <laughs> Razor just like scratches up their nose, like what the? That wasn't in canon. That was <laughs> I know. Me. Purpose, That'd be funny. Um, purpose floats over to Razor, and goes, "I will fix what is broken." All right. Provide maintenance for John. Is so you're. <sighs> Effie, it wants to come with us because it's saying John's broken. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is, um, in its own way, it is saying it can, if something goes wrong with Effie, it will be there to help fix Effie or protect Effie. Um, and it is okay. telling you... Uh, <laughs> okay, cards on the table here. Um, who knows if we ever get to see Purpose again after this um, one shot. But um, purpose believes you are all maintenance dro- drones like itself. Oh. And it is tasking you with it like its civic responsibility of it believes um, <laughs> John is broken. And so it is telling Razor to fix John. <laughs> and that uh, it will fix Effie if Effie gets broken again. Okay, you watch over Effie. I'll work with John. <laughs> Um, it mirrors the thing it saw Effie do earlier, of where, like, a tiny little metal hand comes out of the bowling pin and just, like, attaches to your shoulder. (laughs) (laughs) Razor's just, like, looking at it like, what the... And, like, after a beat where it becomes awkward, the little hand retracts back into the bowling pin. (laughs) (laughs) And it, like, bobs back over to, um, Effie. Uh, Gaia, Paradigm, leans over and goes, like, is it just me, or is that thing, like, super creepy? Uh, Effie is grinning. It seems kind of, it seems kind of creepy to me. (laughs) <laughs> just like from my perspective it seems real spooky is what I'm saying and I, I need you to meet me halfway here and admit that it is it's spooky is she gonna... the one that's supposed to be like used to working with alien stuff it's never been on before everything has been whispered <laughs> until that sentence uh, and Razor's gonna spin on their heel and they're just gonna be like let's go experience audience and welcome to the end credits thank you so much for listening to our show if you want to see mxp art and laugh at the dumb jokes we make about our own show you can find us on tumblr at tumblr.com slash blog slash mark experience if you like the music you can buy it all at mark and we also have merch at redbubble slash people slash mark dash experience where you can buy posters and shirts and stickers if you want to donate so that we can create more content, you can head over to our coffee account at coffee.com slash Jamie Remy. That's spelled J-A-M-I-E-R-E-M-Y. That's my name. 
You can find this podcast on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Stitcher, so listen wherever is easiest. Have fun browsing, and we'll see you next time.